Hey YouTube, today we're talking about a topic that is gonna bring out all the photo nerds and geeks and all the technical photographers. Go ahead and grab some popcorn because the comment section is probably gonna be lit. I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. In 2018, the way technology is right now, there really is no point in using ND filters for your on-location flash work anymore. I'm gonna get one thing straight though. You can pretty much get the same effect using either technique. ND filters, high-speed sync, you can pretty much get the same image. And I'm gonna show you at the end an example of that. And the reason why ND filters are still relevant, why I still like ND filters is because ND filters, um, you, it works with any dummy flash, right? So you can have an old school flash, but you could it will still work because you don't need any like advanced technology in your flash. But nowadays, you can buy high-speed sync flashes for a couple hundred dollars. It's super easy and cheap to get into that. ND filter is also great because you can use that ND filter for video if that's if that's what you're into for that lens. So you don't have to shoot at f16 shooting in bright daylight. So that ND filter still works out really nice. Now, two things that I really dislike about ND filters is that number one, it's inconvenient. It's an extra, it's another thing to carry with you on location. And another thing that I really hate about it is that when you're exposing for your ambient light, it's kind of a pain in the butt because if you have the screw on ND filters, you're gonna have to screw on multiple ND filters uh, depending on the ambient situation that you have. Or if you buy a variable ND filter, which you know they cost a lot of money, uh, chances are you probably won't be able to put your lens hood on your lens. So if it's like a backlit situation, you're, you're gonna get like that all that lights coming into your lens and you're probably gonna lose a lot of contrast so that those are two things that i really don't like about nd filters uh when it comes to high speed sync it is just so much more convenient you're not putting anything else in front of your lens so you're you're using your lens as it was intended to right if you're using a cheaper nd filter you will get color casting and there's a lot of funky things that happen when you're not using an expensive nd filter uh, high speed sync flash is just so much more convenient in terms of like exposing for the ambient you can just crank up your shutter speed and and you can use any shutter speed you want. High speed sync is just so readily available nowadays. Nowadays you can buy a Flashpoint uh, 8200 which is cost about $300 and a $45 flash trigger which is what I use and you can shoot at any time of the day with flash outdoors which is pretty insane. So at this point in 2018 I think that it makes sense to use high speed sync uh, over ND filters. Now let me show you a quick example of me on location and me getting pretty much the same effect using both. All right, so I'm gonna quickly demonstrate the process of using high-speed sync and ND filters, right? So right now I'm using high-speed sync. I'm gonna show you how easy it is. First, you have to make sure you have a flash that is capable of using high-speed sync. I'm using a Godox system. Here, I can, at this point, I can pretty much see how I am adjusting my shutter speed. I can shoot at one four thousand of a second and still get a flash exposure on my subject. That is because high speed sync allows me to use any shutter speed. The max shutter speed I can use, I can go to one eight thousand of a second on this camera, right? And the beautiful thing about it is that I can use that shutter speed to control the ambient light versus having to put something in front of my lens to control the ambient light. That extra step, that extra step using ND filters makes the process a little bit more uh, clumsy. I like to keep things simple as possible, bring minimal gears possible, and that right there just is just a game changer, y'all. I mean, I know it's been around for a while, but for the people that are just getting into flash, I'm letting you know that this is the way to go when it comes to uh, using flash on location. So now I'm gonna slap on the ND filter. It is a 0 0.9. Basically, it's a three-stop ND filter to Tiffin, and I've had really good experience with these. Uh, no color, no color shift, and sharpness is pretty good. So, okay, assuming that I don't have high-speed sync available to me, and I still want to shoot at f 1.4 outdoors with flash, that's going to require me to use the camera's max sync speed or flashing speed, which is one two fiftieth on my camera, and it, it's also going to require me to use an ND filter to drop, to drop that ambient light because without that ND filter, you saw that the scene was already overexposed even before I took my shot. So using that ND filter, I dropped the ambient light and now I'm ready to go again. So you're gonna notice the results are pretty much identical to when I was using high speed sync. Now the light did shift a little bit. She doesn't have that rim light cause the sun shifted. But when you look at her face and her body, it looks the same y'all like you can get really similar effects and for the people out there that can't afford a high speed sync flash or you have a flash that doesn't have that capability laying around you're you're good to go you can get an nd filter and get the same results but i'm just letting you know that it is the process is a little more clumsy and it's gonna require you to take a couple of extra steps but nowadays there are so many good and cheap options out there that um i would recommend going with high speed sync but you know to each its own 
So when I brought the shots into post, I could barely tell the difference between the shots with the ND filter and high speed sync. If I wasn't here taking a shot, I probably wouldn't have I probably wouldn't have known which was which but one thing I did notice that the shots with the ND filter did were a little bit more hazy and lacked contrast and I think that's because adding that extra piece of glass in front of your lens and then shooting backlit can can you know just create more problems with the sun entering the lens uh, the shots with high speed sync were really nice and contrasty the, don't let the lighting in the back fool you the images if they were the same exact lighting they would look pretty much exactly the same but overall I'm really happy with the results. All right, thank you for watching this video and let me know down in the comment section what you think of ND filters and high speed sync. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on next week's video and I'll see you in the next one, guys.